Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of African animals for you today. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Here's a fun ending today which is worth waiting for. The white lion. It's a genetic rarity. According to African elders, these unique animals have been around for centuries. Most white lions are found in conservation parks these days. Lions are at the top of the food chain. This means that an adult lion has no natural predators. Lions spend the day sleeping and resting in the shade. Lions hunt at night because it's often too hot to go out hunting during the day. Lions can run very fast, however they can't run at full speed for a very long time and are often not as fast as their prey. This means that lions either have to sneak up on their prey or lie and wait for it to get close enough to catch. Lions will wait for hours on end to catch their prey. The pink flamingo is a filter feeder. When they want to eat, they put their beak into the water upside down. Their mouth fills with muddy water and any plant or animal material remains behind once they pump the muddy water out of their mouth. This is a zorse. It is the offspring of a female domestic horse and a male zebra. Zorse is shaped more like a horse than a zebra. The rhinoceros. Rhinos have been on this planet for a really long time. They are related to the woolly mammoths. The species of rhinoceros that we know today has been around for around 15 million years. The crocodile. This is one of the babies. They learn how to hunt right from birth. They have several species of crocodile. They are large meat-eating reptiles and are among Africa's most dangerous animals. These ambush predators lie in wait in shallow water for their unsuspecting prey to approach and then pounce. The largest African crocodile is the Nile crocodile. Time for more animals. Honey badgers, they are such fun creatures. The mandarin duck, a very colourful duck with a beautiful crest on top of its head and bright coloured feathers. The mallard duck, this is a male duck with its glossy green head and bright feathers on the back there. The gorilla mother with her baby on the back. Gorilla families tend to stick together. They laugh, play and cry together. They interact much like human families do. Young gorillas like to play together, usually biting and wrestling. Babies often ride on their mother's back like this one. They spend time with their fathers, just like humans. A female chimpanzee. Chimpanzees are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. They like to eat fruit, insects, eggs and meat. A honey badger has a 12 inch or 30 centimetre bushy tail. It has a muscular body and strong legs with five toes on its feet. It uses its long sharp claws for attack, defence and for digging. The honey badger has very thick loose skin which cannot be pierced and here's the mum with her cup. 
The honey badger is the most fearless animal. It can chase lions away from prey and attack killer bee hives. It's a member of the weasel family. The aardvark. It's a nocturnal mammal whose diet consists mainly of ants and termites. It uses its excellent sense of smell to find food and its long sticky tongue to capture its prey. The hedgehog. They are nocturnal animals. The spines of a hedgehog are stiff hollow hairs. roll into a tight ball if threatened, making it hard for its attacker to get past the spiky defences. And here's the baby. A baby hedgehog is called a hoglet. The ring-tailed lemur is only found in Madagascar. They're easy to recognise by their tail. They can climb quite well, but prefer to spend a third of their time on the forest floor looking for food. The cheetah cub. The cheetah's spotted fur helps camouflage it in the grass so that it can ambush prey. The mother cheetah with her cub. Cheetahs are mostly found in open grasslands of sub-Saharan Africa and in eastern and southern African parks. Some cheetahs can still be found in the northern Niger Iran and southern Algeria. They can run up to 120 kilometers per hour or 75 miles per hour. They only need to drink water every three or four days. African buffalo or the Cape buffalo. They live in large herds in the sub-Saharan parts of Africa. Living in a herd means animals know the best feeding areas and sources of water. When faced with predators, the animals in the herd form a circle around the young, old or weak animals, pointing their large razor sharp horns towards the predators. The African wild ass is the smallest member of the horse family. It lives in rocky, dry desert areas. It has grey fur on its back and white fur underneath. The legs of the Somali wild ass are covered with black bands. The black-backed jackal is native to Africa. It has a bushy tail with a black tip and large pointed ears. They use their large mobile ears to detect prey before leaping and pouncing. A baby hippopotamus is called a calf. A female hippo gives birth every two years. The hippopotamus is a large, thick-skinned, semi-aquatic African mammal with massive jaws and large canine tusks. Their teeth sharpen themselves as they grind together. Those teeth can grow up to 20 inches or 50 centimetres long. They like to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. In the evening, hippopotamuses leave the water to feed as herbivores they feed on short grass and fruit for six hours a night, consuming up to 68 kilograms or 150 pounds of 
grass. Zebras are members of the horse family. They make a loud barking or braying sound. Every zebra has a unique pattern of black and white stripes which helps them with camouflage. When zebras are grouped together, their stripes make it hard for a lion or leopard to pick out one zebra to chase. The African Wild Dog They live on the open plains and sparse woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa. These long-legged canines have only four toes per foot. Each animal has its own unique coat of spectacular colours and pattern. Notice those big rounded ears. They like to hunt and live in packs. The lion cub. They are looked after by the female lions. They soon learn how to hunt and look after themselves at around two years of age. The male lion. He looks like he's roaring there. Only certain species of cats roar. The big cats such as lions, tigers and jaguars. They have a special structure in their throat. Lions are thought to roar to communicate, especially over longer distances. Their roar is very deep. And here's the lioness. They do most of the hunting. They are smaller and more agile than males. But since their prey is still generally faster than them, they use teamwork to bring an animal down. Most lions found in the wild live in the southern and eastern parts of Africa. When a lion smells something interesting, it will wrinkle up its nose, retract its lips and clench its teeth, pulling a somewhat pained expression. This is known as the fleeman response. Other animals do this, including the cat species and ungulates such as horses. Lioness with the cub. At birth, the cub weighs one and a half kilograms, or around three pounds. Their eyes open after three to eleven days. Weaning starts at ten weeks and is completed maybe after six months or so. The cub starts to eat meat at about three months old. The oryx is a large antelope. It reaches five to seven feet in length. It is easily recognised by the horse-like neck with a mane, the white head covered with black triangular patches and long V-shaped horns that can be straight or swept back. The oryx is a herbivore and prefers eating grass and thorny shrubs. The giraffe, and this is a baby giraffe here. Once they are born, they take about 30 minutes before they can stand, which is really quite remarkable. A giraffe's body is covered with polygon shaped spots. A giraffe's tongue can be 18 to 20 inches long and is dark in colour. A giraffe can actually clean their ears with their tongue. Both male and female giraffes have two skin covered horns called ozicones. Male giraffes use their horns to fight or play with each other. A giraffe defends itself from predators by kicking. They can kick so hard, they can actually kill a lion. Here's trouble. Please stay and watch another video with me. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.